Hello and welcome back. Okay, so when you start up Photoshop, you will have a home screen that looks like this. So right now, Photoshop is showing all the files that I've opened up recently. And I've sorted those files to show the last opened file in the order that I last opened them. So this gives me easy access to files that I've worked on previously that I may want to continue working on if I haven't completed that project. If you want to sort them by something else, just simply select this option here, and then you can choose from these four options. And then if you want to view them in a list format versus seeing the thumbnails, just click on this icon here. I prefer to see the thumbnail, so I'm going to turn that back on. Now, if you're not seeing this home screen, it's either because you have an older version of Photoshop that doesn't have this feature or it got turned off in preferences. So let me show you how to turn it on and turn it off in case you don't want to see this home screen or maybe you're not seeing it now. So we need to go to preferences so we can go up to Photoshop and select preferences from here or if you're on a PC, preferences will be under file. So go ahead and click on general. And then from here, we'll see an option right here. It says disable the home screen. So if you have this checked, that's why you're not seeing it. If you want to turn it off, select it, click OK, and then restart Photoshop. If you're using version CC 2018, then that second line is not going to read the same. It's going to be much longer and it's going to say something else, but it's basically the same thing. All right, real quick, just a couple quick tips on using the home screen for opening and creating new files, as well as some other cool options we have available with the home screen. So over here to the left, we have an option that says LR Photos. So if you use Lightroom CC, which allows you to upload your images to the cloud, you can access those images directly in Photoshop from this part of the interface. So I've uploaded a few images to the cloud and I can select multiple photos to open up in Photoshop. And then to open them, we need to click on import selected. Then Photoshop is going to download that file and open up the image in Camera Raw, which is Adobe Camera Raw, which allows us to edit raw and JPEG files through this plugin, or if we want to open them up directly in Photoshop, just click on open image, and then that image will be opened up directly in Photoshop. Okay, once we close out this file by clicking on this little icon right here, we will end up back at the home screen. So of course, we can open up files simply by clicking on one of these thumbnails to open up that file. Or if you want to open up a file that hasn't been opened up recently, we can click on this open button here, or you can go up to file and select open. Then you just need to navigate to the folder that image is in and you can open it up that way. So I'm going to go ahead and open up another image here. And then let's say I want to open up another recent image. If I click on this little icon right here, it will take us back to the home screen and then I can open up another image. How cool is that? I love it. So this makes it real easy to open up multiple images from the home screen versus going through the open dialog window. Now, another cool way to access files or to open up files is to use your keyboard shortcut. If we go back up here to file, we can see right here, we have a keyboard shortcut for Mac users. So if you're on a Mac, the keyboard shortcut is Command plus O. If you're on a PC, this icon is going to look different and it's going to be Control plus O. Okay, now that you're familiar with the home screen and how to open up images, 
we're going to cover creating a new file and some of the options that we have when we decide to create a new document. So we're going to cover that in the next lecture. So if you're ready, let's do it.